So I just put my kids to sleep. Now I'm going to take a shower. And when he wakes up, we can go out to take my Instagram photo. And now we are going to choose my outfit. Now let's check what can we wear. This, this is my closet. I promise, every single day I was thinking to myself that I'm gonna have time to clean this. But I just never have time. Don't ask me what I'm doing the whole day because I'm a mother. So now I know my mom is gonna shout at me. The process of me choosing what outfit I'm gonna wear is like this. Jeans, no. Shorts, I think I wore shorts the other day, no. Skirt, I wore these the other day as well. Mini skirt, maybe, it's been a while. What is this? No, no. I feel like I'm wearing white all the time. Nah, cropped up. What happened this? I feel like I look like a slutty businesswoman. No, not this one. I think it's a, it's a black dress. I don't have to think what am I gonna wear top and bottom. That's a perfect thing of having a dress. Okay. Done. Okay, so you can see my outfit again. That, yeah, it's pretty short. I'm gonna do my makeup now. Clean first. Put on the clean first. I think that's as you can see, my eye bag is so bad. So I'm putting on this um, concealer from wherever that is. The reason why I bought it is because it's really cheap. And it's from a vlogger that I really like, her show them. And because all the products that she suggested are so effing expensive, and this is the only one that costs $15. So I bought this. And no, I don't use any foundation because I forgot to bring any. And after this, I'm gonna curl. And the point is that in general, I actually just have eyelash extension. These days, I don't want to do it because I had to think with that amount of money, I can buy 200 diapers for my kid. I don't want to do it. I'd rather buy diapers for that kid. That kid can shit. And this is a tutorial of how to have a makeup on that <laughs> actually doesn't make any difference. Don't get me wrong, it's not the wrong process. I just don't do eyeshadow because I don't have any and I don't know how to put them on. Okay, I did my best. Don't ask me where is that from. It's from a random pharmacy here in Johannesburg. Oh, whatever. I don't like the color of my lips, it's so red. So I will always accept this color of the lipstick because I don't want to use concealer. Concealer is more expensive than this. And I don't do my eyebrow, as you can see that I always saw so many people say that I'm a blogger, I can't do eyebrow tattoo because that's so unprofessional. I have to tell people how to draw your eyebrow or whatever. Yes, I'm on the unprofessional one. I did eyebrow tattoo and I'm happy with it. As you can see, I didn't dry my hair because I don't have a hair dryer. Let's do it. Let's go out now. This is what happened. Close the door. Welcome to this week's episode of Posh Cooking with Yun Cho. Good job. Because now we have to wait for the rain to stop. According to my husband, that when it pours, it's just gonna be like 20 minutes. So I was a little bit hungry and might as well make some pancakes. Eating the pancake now? So is my son. Stefano's t shirt is longer than your dress. <laughs> Would you look at this? Oh. <laughs> ah. Ow. Ooh. <laughs> look at my husband. In general, I'm a control freak about what he's supposed to wear, but seeing as it's a situation that nobody will be able to take photos for us, I don't care. And that's what happened. So now, as no. usual, we just walk out the door and then we're looking for a neighborhood to shoot. Very difficult. You just say, how about this wall? No! Do you want a wall or a street? Yeah. Should we I, go down there? I can go, I can do with a wall actually because I'm wearing black. Let's do this wall. This actually looks quite nice. Okay, we're done now, baby. We got the photo, Stefano! Now you do the cute poses. 
She's walking in a gutter. Things we do for the gram. We're done with the Instagram photo now. We're going back home and then I will be picking photos from the and thousand photos that my husband took. Several photos that I like from a thousand photos that my husband took just now. Snapseed. Let's choose this one maybe. This one looks cute. And I like to first thing do is selective. My face look a bit dark. Brighten up a little bit. And the structure, contrast a little bit, not too much. And then my boy's face. Face is the most important one. The shadow to put the shadow up a little bit because this dress is black so if the shadow is too much you can't really see the detail of the sleeves with Fisco because they're and they're like a lot of my favorite ones this is my new favorite one let me see this one works it's a bit bright sometimes I just try every single one of them mm, it's okay my favorite one is A6. Maybe we can try A6. A6 is not bad. Here we go. Now we can post it. That's it for the Instagram tutorial. That's not a tutorial actually. Don't do that. Anyway, I want to let people know that I believe that every single Instagram don't just look like this the second they wake up. There's actually a lot of efforts behind it. And it's also very difficult to take a photo with an infant. Anyway, thank you for watching and let me know that if you, there's anything that you want us to shoot, you want to see. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, bye.